we will be seeing HHV8 related diseases. Today's topic is Kesselman disease and primary effusion lymphoma. Both are caused by human herpes virus 8, HHV8. So let's note them down. First disease is Kesselman disease because it is first described by Benjamin Kesselman. And second one is primary effusion lymphoma. Seen in HIV patients, there is a effusion of body cavities and that's why we call it primary effusion lymphoma. Kesselman disease is also known by its pathological name that is giant lymph node hyperplasia. Lymph nodes they get enlarged, they become giant and inside pathologically what we see is the hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue. So we call it giant lymph node hyperplasia. Another name of the same disease is angiofollicular lymph node hyperplasia. Again, it's a pathological nomenclature. NGO because it involves blood vessel, follicular because involvement of follicles of the lymph node, and hyperplasia as the hyperplasia of lymphoid tissue is going on. So, three names for the same disease Castleman disease, giant lymph node hyperplasia, and AFH. What you see here is the onion skin or the lollipop appearance of the lymph node. Second lesion showing germinal center which is having high nice blood vessel and it is surrounded by lots of lymphoid tissue in concentric manner giving rise to lollipop appearance. Second pathological entity is primary effusion lymphoma. We call it primary because there is no other malignancy associated with this effusion. Second, effusion of the body cavity is very very important key in the history of your patient. There can be pleural effusion or there can be ascites but you won't find any lung malignancy or abdominal malignancy history associated in a case of primary effusion lymphoma. On further evaluation, we have recognized that this effusion is actually lymphoma because effusion fluid contains malignant cells and these malignant cells are positive for surface immunoglobins. Surface immunoglobin is a B cell marker. Surface immunoglobins are used for the identification of B cells. So we have effusion. In the effusion we have malignant cells and these malignant cells are positive for surface IgG which is a marker of B cells. B cells have three different types of receptor immunoglobin M, immunoglobin D and immunoglobin A. Any of these can be positive in case of primary fusion lymphoma. These receptors are known as B cell receptors or BCR. That's why we are calling it B-cell lymphoma. They are not T-cell lymphoma because they are not positive for T-cell receptors or TCR. TCR or T-cell receptor is alpha-beta protein. This is the most common type of TCR. So remember primary effusion lymphoma have B cell receptors which are surface immunoglobin. There will be history of effusion, no other malignancy. It is caused by HHV8 virus. It is caused by HHV8 virus but it is seen in case of the HIV patients. So remember, primary effusion lymphoma is not ca caused by HIV virus, although it is associated in case of HIV patients. And other disease of HHV8 is Castleman disease, which gives lollipop appearance in a lymph node. 